Now, those nine firefighters are accused of sharing racist images and messages online, some allegedly uh, including memes mocking George Floyd. Now, the judge from today says that he was frustrated to have learned of the discipline in the paper. The New York Times reported on this last week, but the commissioner says that they were unable to share any information because of a regulation. Now, those nine firefighters were suspended without pay, some, with, uh, some for a few days, others for six months. Now, although, although the FDNY says it has taken steps to make the department more diverse. The commissioner acknowledges that inclusion must come next, but is also more difficult. While firehouse culture is known to have camaraderie, it's also known for taunting, teasing, and sometimes hazing. Why cultural change is taking so long, Nigro says, is inexplainable and undefendable, but he assures they are working on making it right. The department, you know, and, and uh, not just our white firefighters, but our minority firefighters, will say is a great environment to be in. Are there still problems? Absolutely. Um, but the culture of the department is teamwork. The culture of the department is we're one family. And once we uh, can accomplish that, every single member of the department believes that, that they are a full and accepted member of our family, uh, the department will only get better. The Vulcan Society, which is the fraternal organization of black firefighters, was also in court. The president of the organization says he is optimistic things will get better. As the judge is frustrated, uh, we have historical context. We've been in this, this place for a long time, and I think everybody's tired of it. It's time for change. He also mentioned that it can be hard to remain professional in these types of situations, experiencing these issues, especially when sharing the same living spaces with fellow firefighters from 12 to 24 hours a day. But again, he is hopeful that things will change. In downtown Brooklyn, Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.